Welcome to Learn Vision's training tutorials with me, Emmeline Jarvis. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to reconcile imported transactions in Landlord Vision. In the previous video, we set up a live bank feed, so we'll start this video by going back to where we left off. When transactions are imported, Landlord Vision will attempt to match them up with records that have already been entered into the software or against those that the system is expecting, for example, a tenant's rent payment. This one cannot be matched. If the invoice has not already been entered into Landlord Vision, we can use the Add Income option. If the problem is that the details are different to what is in Landlord Vision, for example the date or how the name has been spelled, we can instead use the Find a Match option. Sometimes a bank account will be used for both personal and rental business payments. Now, the personal expenses shouldn't be recorded in Landlord Vision since they do not relate to the property business. So with this one, we can choose the Ignore option or we can delete it from the imported bank statements altogether. If the payment relates to a transfer of funds from one of your bank accounts to another, we can use the Add Transfer option. The aim is to get these two figures to be the same once all of the imported transactions have been reconciled. If they aren't, then you know that either payments haven't been recorded in Landlord Vision or there are outstanding payments yet to be made into or from your bank account. This is a great way of picking up discrepancies. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. In the next one, Again, sticking with the reconciliation area, we're going to be looking at splitting payments across multiple invoices. See you then.